This is an assessment to gauge who is likely to win the challenge championship. I'll consider both their ability to make the final and reach the final. Let's get to it. Hello fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to today's video. Starting with Casey Clark. Casey's resume among the non-winning veterans is one of the most impressive. Even if it is only her third season, she is 2-0 in eliminations within this format without requiring each player to win an elimination to reach the final, she might not see any at all. In her first Total Madness final, she finished second ahead of Jenny West who along with Emily is probably the fittest woman to have ever participated in the challenge. On double agents, Casey's final was shortened by an injury. Casey has worked well with several partners and has a strong partnership this season with Emmanuel. If their partnership remains intact, they are a favorite to win. Next is the underdog Big T. There aren't too many people who believe Big T will win a final and she still has to put in effort to reach her first final after she underwent a makeover at double agents under the guidance of ct she began to realize her potential as a decent competitor if she is voted out it will not be because she is weak instead it's likely revenge on tori or one of her allies for causing tori's death in the double agents big t is temporarily safe with Nelson as her partner. Up next is Carl Christie. This is the first season, except possibly Total Madness, where Carl is in a strong majority alliance. Because of those circumstances, we've seen him in quite a few elimination rounds and he has proven himself a competitor in that aspect. However, that volume of elimination appearances eventually catches up with Carl and sends him home before the final. The finals Carl's has made were respectable third and second finishes in Vendettas and Total Madness respectively. Carl's biggest problem is his perception as an untrustworthy player which wasn't helped by his mistake to target Devon in an earlier daily challenge this season. When push comes to shove, Carl's relationships may not be strong enough to secure a place in the final. The first half of Tori's challenge career was impressive, reaching two finals in Dirty 30 and War of the Worlds 2, though she was fired in the latter and appearing as a mercenary in Vendettas. Tori has since bought into her hype and has commissioned it at Total Madness and Double Agents where she has faced early exits. She overestimates her abilities as a political player because she's not subtle and she's still a tough competitor that many men would like to join. Just making it to the final would be a success for Tori even though she believes it will be her first win. For that to be the case, she has to strike her enemies more stealthily than she has in recent seasons. Amanda is the only veteran this season who did not compete in the double agents, but she is back with several of her regular allies like Ashley, Josh and Nelson to cement her place in the game. Although she isn't the most physically attractive competitor, Amanda has the skill set to compete if she makes her first ever final. The key to her success is staying away from drama which has historically been her weak point. Fessy's elimination this season is a double-edged sword because Fessy might have gone into the final with her but now Amanda doesn't have to worry about his drama. Well, she's worrying about his drama, okay, because what happened this weekend, child, the relationship is over. Betting on CT to win the challenge in a season without Wes, Bananas or Daryl is safe but it shouldn't be. After winning his fourth season the last time in the same season he was technically sent to the first elimination he dodged a bullet because it turned out to be a woman's elimination surely other vets will know to send him to multiple eliminations 
Kells and Cory L were City's biggest nightmares size-wise, but since they have already been eliminated, City has nothing to worry about. Now, as long as their veterans remain timid, City's paving his way to the end. Ashley has two championships in the challenge, which set her apart from the field of individual competitors. Ashley isn't one to shy away from drama, which isn't a good and bad thing. Ashley isn't afraid to take the shot against her biggest competitor, but her losing streak in eliminations means that others will take into account the possibility of her losing to this elimination. Ashley still has a good chance of winning the final, it's just hard to see her getting there. How can Corey reach the final in consecutive seasons and not be one of the favorites to win this time? Corey's answer is similar to his best friend Nelson, physically beast but lacks in other areas. Corey instigating the battle of Josh and Fessy won't go unnoticed by the other veterans, so there might be a bill to pay for the elimination visit. There are certain groups where the best dog could be in the final, but none of these competitions involve CT. While Corey has allies, I don't think he has the political game to implement a plan to get rid of the long-time veteran. Speaking of Corey's allies, Nelson is a perfect example of how the challenge is about much more than physical strength. Nelson is incredibly fit and takes care of his body, but this is the same person who thought a multiple choice question with three answers had a 50% chance of getting it right. Nelson isn't the only right guy in this cast. So other fit players who can easily solve puzzles shine with him in the final match. He's also prone to distractions. Even though two of them have fortunately been removed, with Burner losing an elimination and his rival Fessy getting disqualified. Despite reaching last season's final, the Nanny Championship window appears to have closed. It's unfortunate that she lost in the final elimination of seasons in which she might have won the final match, such as Battle of the Exes 2 with Johnny Bananas. Nanny is arguably the player most likely to reach the final in her political game alone. Veterans either love her or hate her less than the others, and junior guys seem to want to partner with her. Nanny's passive playstyle, including her relationship with Casey, is her greatest threat, which will prevent her from taking the picks on strong women needed to position herself for this elusive victory. Josh faces many of the same problems and enjoying many of the same strengths as Nanny. Josh is not going anywhere anytime soon. To the chagrin of the haters, it's also annoyed me, Josh is an integral part of major alliances this season. His ability to snap at any moment was shown during his fight with best friend Fessy, which is a red flag. Fortunately for Josh, his poor record in elimination, 1 in 4, may not be activated because the skull twist is inactive. The danger would be if the house votes to eliminate the agency's ally, leading them to dump Josh as a potential easier opponent. Devon has played one of the most impressive games of this season. Getting every vet in the game into an alliance together is like herding cats if those cats are constantly scratching the curtains and sofas. Devon has had a great chance of reaching the final this season, but winning the final feels like a stretch. He finished third in the Rivals 3 final he made because he luckily avoided a tie and cleared the Vendettas in a purely cardio event. Devon has a long list of players who must be targeted and eliminated in the semi-finals to win. Kyle, Tori, Corey, Nelson and Amanda, I am not sure about these contenders. They must just prove they have what it takes to win. 
Devon and Casey are the only pair who have never won a championship yet that I believe have what it takes to win this season. Uncle CT and Ashley have the skills to back another championship and they could do it again. In a nutshell, my favorites to win are Devon, CT, Casey and Ashley. Do you agree with my picks? Who do you think is in standing to win this season? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you for watching. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.